Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this an innovative system called Dissolved Air Flotation, DAF, and its application in seawater reverse osmosis, SWRO, plants. SWRO is a widely used process for desalinating seawater and producing fresh water. However, SWRO systems face challenges related to the presence of suspended solids and organic matter in the feedwater, which can affect the performance and efficiency of the system. DAF is a promising solution to mitigate these challenges. DAF stands for Dissolved Air Flotation. It is a water treatment process that utilizes microscopic air bubbles to separate and remove suspended solids, fats, oils, greases, and other impurities from water or wastewater. DAF is widely used in various industries, including municipal water treatment, industrial wastewater treatment, and in the context of our discussion, in seawater reverse osmosis SWR, plants. Principles of DAF, coagulation and flocculation the DAF process begins with the addition of a coagulant or flocculant to the water or wastewater. Coagulants are chemicals that help destabilize and aggregate suspended solids, organic matter, and other impurities present in the water. The coagulants neutralize the charges on the particles, allowing them to come together and form larger particles called coagulates or microflocks. Coagulation principle, seawater, suspended solids colloids is negative charge, coagulant injection, ferric chloride is positive charge, destabilization, colloid plus, coagulant, gives, colloid, destabilize. Modification of particles colloid destabilized slash neutralization, particles agglomeration with online mixing, coagulant used is FeCl3, dosage to be adjusted with jar test. Coagulation and flocculation, flocculation, Flocculation follows the coagulation step and involves the addition of flocculants to the water. Flocculants are polymers that aid in the formation of larger flocks by bridging the coagulated particles together. They help to increase the size and strength of the coagulates, enhancing the settling and flotation properties of the flocks. Flocculation principle, flocculation takes place with some flocculant in seawater, marine components, including TP, transparent exopolymer polymer, play naturally the role of flocculant, Polymer system for DAF is only provided as a provision in case unexpected water quality is observed. Note, in such case approval from the membrane supplier prior to injection. During flocculation, gentle mixing or agitation is applied to the water to ensure the even distribution of the flocculant throughout the coagulated particles. This process allows the particles to collide and form larger and denser flocks, which will later be targeted for separation in the flotation tank. Dissolved air flotation water clarification process, following coagulation and flocculation, based on the Stokes law, 
use of a mix of air and clarified water, goal of flotation, reduce the density of flocks by fixing them to fine air bubbles in, order to lift them to the surface. Coagulation and flocculation, the combined action of coagulation and flocculation helps to aggregate and destabilize the suspended solids, organic matter, and other impurities in the seawater. This prepares the water for the subsequent steps of dissolved air injection, flotation, and separation in the DAF process. Coagulation and flocculation improve the efficiency of particle removal, enhance the separation performance of the DAF system, and contribute to the overall quality and purity of water. White Water Principle In a DAF system, the white water principle is used to create a series of baffles that help to trap suspended solids. The baffles are placed in the water flow so that the water must flow around them. This creates turbulence, which helps to break up the suspended solids and allow them to be captured by the baffles. Dissolved Air Injection after the coagulation and flocculation steps, the water with coagulated particles enters the pressure saturation tank in the DAF system. Inside the tank, the water is pressurized using a pump or compressor. The pressurization increases the solubility of air in the water creating a supersaturated solution of dissolved air. The pressure saturation tank is specifically designed to introduce and dissolve air into the water. Various techniques can be used to facilitate air dissolution, such as using diffusers, injectors, or pumps that release the air under high pressure. The duration and pressure of air injection are carefully controlled to ensure efficient air dissolution. Flotation Once the water with dissolved air is released from the pressure saturation tank, it enters the flotation tank or basin. The sudden release of pressure causes the dissolved air to come out of solution in the form of small microbubbles. These microbubbles typically have diameters ranging from 20 to 50 micrometers. Flotation and separation As the microbubbles rise through the water in the flotation tank, they attach themselves to the coagulated particles and flocks present in the water. The microbubbles attach to the particles due to their increased buoyancy, causing them to become buoyant aggregates. The combined flocks and air bubbles form a froth layer or float on the surface of the water. Water bubble is lower than density of water. Flotation and separation. The flotation process relies on the difference in buoyancy between the microbubbles and the coagulated particles. The microbubbles effectively lift the particles to the water's surface, facilitating their separation from the bulk liquid. Skimming and removal. A skimming mechanism or surface skimmer is employed to remove the float from the surface of the water. The skimmer gently collects the float and directs it to a separate compartment for further treatment or disposal. This skimming process ensures the separation and removal of the captured suspended solids and organic matter. Clarified water collection, the clarified water, free from most of the suspended solids and impurities, 
is collected from the bottom of the DAF tank or basin, it is typically directed to the next stage of the treatment process, such as SWRO membranes, for further purification. By incorporating DAF as a pretreatment step, SWRO plants can benefit from improved water quality, reduced fouling and scaling, increased operational efficiency, and cost savings. These advantages make DAF a valuable technology for enhancing the performance and reliability of SWRO systems. It is important to note that the specific design and operational parameters of DAF systems may vary depending on the application and requirements of the water treatment process. Thank you for watching this video.